All right. We're live. So let's wait for just a few moments for people to hop on. I'm going to share this to my page while we're waiting for folks to join. Well, you look good while we wait. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> thank you do. I'm sharing this to my Facebook page as well. Yes. All right. I think I did it. All right. And then let me just share it to my page. So everyone that's joining, we are live um, with the influencers powered by the Cincinnati Herald. Of course, you've listened to us on the buzz, but now we've had to pivot virtually. So we are doing these Zoom live Facebook sessions. And so this is your girl's first time doing the Zoom live on Facebook. It's so exciting. I'm so excited. So I'm going to make sure I share this video. Let me see if I can share this to my page. And that's my phone on, y'all. Let me see. Share. It's so exciting. I'm so excited. So I'm going to make sure I share this video. Let me see if I can share it. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Let me get out of here. All right. So I wanna make sure, hey Anissa, I wanna make sure that if you guys have any questions, just drop it in the comments um, via the Facebook page so we can see it. But let me go ahead and introduce myself for those who don't know me. My name is Morgan A. Owens. I am a serial entrepreneur, blogger, uh, micro-influencer, do the most. Um, based here in Cincinnati, I also write for the Cincinnati Herald. You can see my professional pretty blog on there. But I am here with a special guest, my girl, my soror. Shout out to all the AKAs watching. Yeah. <laughs> Candace Janae, based out of Chicago. I'm going to let her tell you what she does, and then we're going to get into the topic that we're going to talk about. So, hey, Candace. Hey, uh, thank you, Morgan, for having me. I'm super excited to be um, on here today. But a little bit more about me. Um, I am a serial entrepreneur as well. Um, I run a brand called Epic Fab Girl. Uh, we are a community for Christian women entrepreneurs. We help them connect, build profitable brands, and grow their faith. Um, I am from Chicago. I actually run a digital marketing agency where I help um, my uh, clients basically better connect with their audiences using digital channels. So everything from Facebook, Instagram, um, marketing, um, advertisement, email marketing, that's my space that I love to thrive in. Um, but then I also do influencer work. And so I'm a faith-based entrepreneur, so I work a lot with, you know, uh, brands that are faith-based, but also, you know, all things beauty, all things fashion, all things um, really lifestyle. So that's a little bit more about me, and um, I love you, and I love <laughs> all of what you're doing, so I'm just sorry. <laughs> And you guys can tell we're close because like our curls are popping <laughs> right now and we didn't plan that, but um, we have a lot of similarities and that's why um, we get along so well. But also, I guess this really ties into what we're going to talk about today about pivoting your business through a pandemic. So, you know, when everything hit, I know Candace does a lot of in-person events. I do a lot of in-person events and really everything that I was doing was getting canceled, right? Um, or put on hold. And so during the pandemic, I really had to pivot and move towards online work, which Candace is phenomenal at, but also leaning on other entrepreneurs in the digital space to kind of collaborate, but also bounce ideas off of and really, I guess, get into the meaning of collaboration instead of competition 
right? Um, because, you know, as you heard Candace, we do similar things. And so Candace is that person that I really leaned on, um, really was an accountability partner during the pandemic to pivot. So Candace, can you kind of talk about, you know, how did you really have to pivot um, during this pandemic as an entrepreneur? Yeah, so I'm so grateful that we're talking about this topic because I think it's so important. And, and, you know, while the pandemic has been one of those things where it gives so many people mixed emotions, whether it be from like anxiety, fear, worry, not knowing what your finances are going to look like, you know, I, I think there's so much beauty that ha has come from it because a lot of businesses have been able to pivot to digital channels. And like I said, like, the, a lot of the work that I do is in the digital space. And sometimes you, I had to kind of go to the lengths of explaining to my clients the importance of having a digital presence and really showing up to make money in, in the digital world. Um, and so I would say with the, the recent pivot, um, I think for me personally, like, it, it's kind of interesting because nothing changed to be quite honest like um nothing changed in my personal game plan because we already were thriving in a digital world uh but things started to pick up um and so like a lot of the work that i do for my clients is like managing their instagram pages so that's something i was already able to do virtually and digitally um i also you know write email marketing so like all of my clients are virtual like I have so many clients across the country that I've never seen. So, you know, being in the digital space and having already been positioned as a digital entrepreneur has really helped me to excel during this time. But what I've seen is for my clients who, you know, weren't, you know, super focused on like really elevating their digital presence, I saw, you know, an uptick because, you know, people were looking um for the work that they have so for example one of my clients is a cpa one is an attorney and you know during the pandemic you know their work was like ramping up like you know it's tax time it's still you know stuff that needs to get done so all of those things like you know are important but i i, I think that being um a an entrepreneur who I will say the one thing that did change for Epic Fab Girl specifically is that we host a lot of in-person events, yeah. but at the beginning of this year, and I think you know this as well, because we talked about it, like, I was like, I think I'm going to not focus this much on, you know, smaller in-person events. I was planning only on doing one per quarter, yeah. and then all of those got canceled, um, but we were still scaling back because previously we had done, like, multi-city tours, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. so it's interesting because even last year and in 2018 we did multi-city tours and i would say we probably impacted a total of maybe 200 to 300 women per year yeah. um that showed up in person at live events yeah. um this past march or no this past april we hosted our online digital conference so we brought an in-person experience um to an online world yeah. and because of the digital nature of you know like being in a because of the nature of digital businesses we were able to impact more people so yeah. we were able to have you know a free online event that um actually reached over four thousand women so when you start to thinking about like pivoting your brand and pivoting your business it really um helps you to see that the digital space is a space that you should be thriving in and that you should be considering because there's no limits to how many people that you can reach. So that has been the biggest pivot for us. I love that. So, you know, if you're, if you're a business owner watching, please drop in the comments, what type of business do you have? And if you are online um, working, you know, while we're here, you know, we want to answer questions about, you know, what you should be doing online. Right. Um, so if you don't, so Candace, like what are the, the basic things every business owner should have online? Of course, I always say a website is 2020 y'all. Yeah. yeah. You gotta have a website. There's no excuses for no website. Um, but what other things should business owners have online? Yeah, I'm so glad that you said this and you have no idea that I literally just created a free resource all about this uh, because I feel like there are so many people that just didn't know where to start. Um, yeah. And so 
a, a couple of the things, I'll definitely share a few of the things that I think are absolutely essential, but I have a full checklist. It's literally called a step-by-step -step guide to um, build your, or to build, grow, and monetize your brand. Um, and so it's, it's basically a checklist that says like, what are all the things I need to do if I'm getting my business started uh, and getting it off the ground and uh, starting to run it. But definitely a website is absolutely important. But I think these days, like a lot of people think that, you know, you have to have this elaborate website. Uh, but in reality, if you're just getting started in the digital world, sometimes all you need is a really good landing page. Mm -hmm. And a landing page is just, you know, um, information about the product or service or information information about your business and you know a form for them to fill out that says you know their first name last name email address and mobile number right and you know we don't want to just collect email addresses we want to collect their SMS like their mobile numbers um, in the event that you decide to pick up text message marketing in the future and so there's so much um, in this online world that you need but like kind of keeping it simple um, you know, of course, all the brand essentials, so like your logo, all the all of those things. But most importantly, is start building an email list so that you can start communicating with people online. Um, have some sort of social media presence, so you don't necessarily need to be, you know, uh, like right now, a lot of brands are like, "Ooh, TikTok is popping. Let me get on TikTok." And it's like, like if you're on Instagram, just like master Instagram before you try to like go do all the other things. Right. Um, so get really good at, you know, at least one platform, creating good content, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, get really good at that. Um, but make sure that you have a product to sell or, you know, something to offer for free in exchange for an email address. So um, I say all that to say to have the full list, I have this, uh, this guy that I just created. Um, and if you go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash build, grow, monetize, you'll literally have a full literally list checklist of, you know, not just every step that you need to take as you're building your brand, but also a resource list of like all the tools that I use to actually help, you know, me in as a marketer, if that makes sense. So yeah, so we'll make sure we drop that um, in the comments. And guys, this is free. So everyone who's watching, let me just let me just back up a minute because I want y'all to realize what a wealth of knowledge Candace is. Um, she's being really um, humble right now, but I can't stress it enough. Everyone who's tuning in, you need to follow her. You need to download this freebie because Sis did this online um, thing and made five figures. I ain't gonna tell all her business, but she made five figures from one event. Um, now I say this because I'm super proud of her, but it was awesome. You know, a lot of people do in-person events. They don't even make five figures because of the overhead costs. Sis did this all during quarantine, like behind her computer, chilling in her cozy clothes. You know, I'm not saying this was easy, but it's super, um, everyone is super capable of doing this type of thing, right, Candace? Everyone is super capable of, of turning their in-person business to an online platform. And it just takes time and it takes work. And I think that is what breaks the mold of certain entrepreneurs. Um, are you willing to devote time into your business to really learn online strategies, to really learn how to navigate online platforms? And a lot of this stuff is free right? A lot of these tools are free to use as um, far as graphics, as far as online platforms. So it's really, if you want it or not, if you, you know, if you have time, you know, of course it's a pandemic, so there's no judgment, give yourself grace, but this is a perfect time to really research, really read upon it, really study it. And she's giving you a free download on a checklist. I'm about to go get that. <laughs> I'm about to go get that stuff. Like, so please, you know, take advantage of all these free tools entrepreneurs are giving right now. It's super important um, because, you know, we want to help each other. We're not going to give you all the sauce, but we're going to steal you, steer you in the right direction. So I just had to put that out there for Candace. Like, Thank this you. I appreciate stuff. <laughs> I, I'm trying to learn from Candace. That boss backup week, I was on the phone with her like, okay, I don't know. I'm going to do it this way, this way, this way. And then I'm working on something else, you know, yeah. but it takes time. And I admire her so much for that because it is a lot of work, but the reward can be amazing. So yeah. <laughs> let me I see if I have any questions. We have 
Oh, we have a lot of entrepreneurs, lady entrepreneurs in the house. Um, Anissa oh. Shomo, speaker, author. We have Nita Marzo, um, business. So she does um, custom stuff. So those little fanny packs, remember that fanny pack I had at the conference last year? She made that. I don't know if you remember that. Ooh, All right, y'all you. need to drop, y'all need to drop some questions while this is three ninety nine. dollars trying to tell y'all. All right. So also pivoting dur during a pandemic online, you know, I've launched uh, a blog. I've been able to write more for that, trying to that get is. monetized. I know you're working on some other stuff um, during this time. So, you know, what are your thoughts, your take of, you know, being a business owner and trying new online stuff for your business during this time? Yeah, so I love it. I love all of what you said because, you know, even earlier you said how, you know, it does take a lot of work and that's that's honestly the truth of it. I think, you know, I have been able to build up to this point of doing a, now let me break it down for you guys. Like Morgan said, we make five figures um, off of a free digital event. And yes, we did. Uh, but we did that in partnership with other people. Mm -hmm. Um, and we also basically it was a free event, but we found out, found a way to monetize it. Mm -hmm. And, um, that was what helped us kind of propel, um, the brand. But honestly, the successful, um, what will I say? Like, I felt like the summit, it was very seamless. The process was very seamless because I've done this time and time again um, with smaller things. So this actually wasn't the first time that we did the online summit. We did the online summit last August. Mm -hmm. um, and when we did the summit on um, last August, we had over 1200 women and that wasn't in the middle of a pandemic. So that was huge. And then now to do this summit and get over 4,000 women to join for free, it just was because we put together all the things we knew about marketing, all the things we knew about, you know, did it being in the digital world. Um, so I would say like, start small in terms of like, don't feel like you need to do a big grand thing. Because yeah. as you start small, you'll be able to figure out kind of like, you know, okay, how are we getting people on? How do we automate these processes behind the scenes? How do we respond to things? Because, you know, when you launch a digital summit that has thousands of people that are paying attention, you also have to have a tech team that's like responding to, you know, questions that people have about technical difficulties. So there's a lot of things that go on, but the biggest thing at the core of all of this is to serve your customers, serve your audience with what they want. And so for us, the, the experience that we had, it was called Go Getter Confidential, um, the summit. And that particularly pick particular summit was aimed at helping women build their brands, grow their audience, and make real money online. And that all came from us really talking to our audience, asking them, what is it that you need help with? And when you figure that out, then you'll be able to say, okay, you know, this is what they need. Let me provide what they need in this area. And because it was so, like, we literally brought together women and men that knew about, you know, building brands, growing their audiences, and making money online. And we were able to add value to them because we are exposing our audience to them. And, you know, there was just kind of this whole, you know, pipeline of everything. But the reason why we were able to you know, get as many signups as we did, honestly, was because we were meeting a need. And then, you know, we've done this before. So I would say, like, get started with doing, you know, one digital event. It doesn't have to, like, we had over 20 speakers. Last year, we had maybe nine or 10 speakers. And then previously, we've done webinars that maybe had, like, one or two people. So just learning how to do it with, like, in smaller numbers until you master the art and get comfortable and then launch and do something bigger. Or, if you are a business that wants to host a digital summit and you don't know how, you can hire someone like myself to literally execute all of the marketing so that it doesn't have to be difficult for you. So right. I love that. I love it. Um, so Anissa asks about, so I have a free webinar coming up too uh, next Wednesday. It's a free business Q and A. So it's really, it's called Mocha's with Morgan. I brought that back to an online space. So you can ask me any question. You just have to follow me on Instagram, um, engage on a photo, and then DM me for the webinar link. So make sure that you guys do that um, as well. Let's see. We have a question from Jordan. He says, as you both do large-scale in-person events and virtual events as well, do you see an evolution in the physical and digital experience for the future consumer? Ooh, 
that's a good question. Um, so I guess for me, let's see. So our conference typically is in September. Um, we've been doing that for the past couple of years. And so of course we have, you know, go get a conference that's supposed to be, you know, typically is in person in Chicago in September. Um, but I think there's this apprehension with people in person, with in-person events, and just like this responsibility that, you know, businesses have to yeah. not, you know, get people sick or not put people in harm's way. Right. And so I think that it, it'll be a while until people really feel comfortable getting in large settings. Um, the, the thing that I've decided for my brand and business, like we're not hosting large scale events um, until... I see concerts and stuff be able to be happening like because you know like if if concerts aren't cleared to do it then I don't want to do it right mm -hmm. and so um that's a really big thing but I think it it presents this amazing opportunity to create and and figure out ways to be creative to bring digital experiences or like in-person experiences into the digital world um and literally for us like we're trying out this new technology for like online conferences that really it, it's a it's a really cool platform um that really allows for networking it allows for video chat it allows for all of these really cool th that bring an online experience so i i think we people are just gonna have to get creative about how they bring um value to their audiences even though they may not be in person um, and then I, I think in the future like that every event is probably going to have some sort of digital component because now we've you know enabled these things and we see how much easier it is than we probably thought it was so yeah. I think that makes it easier in the long run and I think things will evolve in that way yeah, I agree. So actually today would have been my full day of professional pre-conference. Uh, last night was supposed to be VIP night, so I'm in my feelings. But um, I think, like you said, it's, it's you know, enough for me. I've done the boss backup week, so that was kind of like my test. And, you know, 250 people signed up for it. Um, and that wasn't free. That was paid. So, yeah, that was awesome. And so now, you know, I'm thinking of ways that I can give my um, audience that same you know experience online of course it's not going to be the same in person but i don't want you know my audience to wait until 2021 if even that to have a full person experience so you know there are ways like right now professional pretty has a self-care retreat right now and um, attendees got self-care kits mailed to them so they were able to get that personal touch at home, you know, um, social distancing, and they're able to view, you know, sessions online. But it's also taught me that I'm able to hit an audience that n might necessarily I might not have hit before in person because, you know, everyone can't travel to Chicago or everyone can't travel to Cincinnati. And so this is opportunity and ways for me to, you know, one, bring something online affordable because it's obviously not going to be the same cost because we don't have to feed people. We don't have to do decor. Um, yeah. We don't have to do certain things. So that means we can, you know, offer it at a lower cost and therefore open it up to a wider audience and get more people um, in the door. And, you know, so I think, like you said, definitely after this pandemic, things are not going to be the same. Um, I know that I've enjoyed being at home and giving people experiences. You know, I've enjoyed only being professional from the, the top up. You know what I mean? Like, right, I got my workout pants on the bottom because I just taught a Girl. cardio class, but I was able Girl. to get here on time, right? <laughs> I was there to get on here and host, right? Okay. Right? So it's like, wow, I've, I've really maximized my time by being at home, by being able to do, you know, a whole lot of stuff in my house. But I still miss that in-person experience. But like you said, I'm not trying to get anyone sick. I'm not trying to get sick. And, yeah. you know, well, I don't, I'm not sure if, you know, I'll have to take these temperatures when they walk in, you know, big person events and stuff like that, you know, all that protocol. So um, that is a great question, Jordan. Thank you so much. All right. Let me just check on our time here. All right. We have about four minutes. So, you know, Candace, anything that you, you know, want to tell any entrepreneur out there that is struggling um, during this pandemic? you know, they're unsure of the future, you know, what kind of pointers can you give them? What kind of advice, what kind of motivation, um, 
do you have to offer? Absolutely. Um, I would say just don't be afraid to try stuff. And I think even um, when I was getting ready to do my online summit, I kept calling them like, how much would you pay for this? What, like, you know, and just like asking the questions. And I remember you saying like, you were like, girl, just do it. And like, you'll see what works and you'll see what doesn't. And so I think there's beauty in just like doing it and not being too afraid um, and seeing if it works and not caring, you know, what people are saying about it. And um, I think, you know, especially when you're not comfortable getting on TV, like not on TV, but on like live, you know, on Facebook, just start doing some practicing, you know, and doing it more consistently so you can become more confident when you're on a Zoom call or you have to do, you know, a Facebook Live like this as a paid digital thing. But what I would say is to explore um, just what other people are doing online um, to make money in the digital world. That's actually what our entire Go Getter Confidential Summit was about. So if you head over to Epic Fab Girl on Instagram and click the link in our bio, we still have access to the all access pass where you can basically just learn a little bit more about how other people are making money in this online world. And I've learned that hearing other people's stories and you know hearing how they did it and hearing the steps that they took will really help, you know, get an idea of like what you can do that you know, and, and spark some creativity for you to kind of do similar things in different ways. So um, that's what, that's my advice. And, you know, I'm all, I'm all about, you know, purpose. So um, make sure that you're doing what you're called to do. And just don't worry about, you know, like, if you feel like it's, it, just don't worry about other people at the end of the day, like do what you've been yeah. called to do. And, um, and, and do that fearlessly, because it's really going to impact the world in a significant way. Yes, I love it. And, you know, as much as, you know, I want to come out of a pandemic being successful, you know, please also know that it's okay to grieve. It's okay to have bad days as an entrepreneur. You know, if you follow me regularly, you know, I'm very transparent about my days. Some days are great. Some days are not so great. Um, but I've, I've realized that as long as I keep trying, as long as I keep working at it, then things will come. Um, so like I said, you know, the, during the first week of the pandemic, I was in my feelings. I was crying. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to survive. Even now, you know, I don't know what I'm going to exactly do after this, you know, especially if schools are being closed and they're not having after school programs. That is a revenue source for me. You know, whenever it's safe to travel, you know, for the bookstore, are people going to want to come out in other cities, you know, that they don't really know me as well? Are they willing to come out in support? So, you know, I've kind of had to think about these things, but also think about ways and opportunity that I can reach those people. So when it is time, whether it be two years from now, because the book tour gonna happen in person, right? Whether it's two years from now, they already know who I am because of online. And hopefully they're excited enough to come out and see me when everything is safe. And so, you know, if you're an entrepreneur and you're out there and you're just unsure, just know that you're not alone. Um, you know, like I said, I had a great online summit, but then, you know, I have days that aren't so great. So just like every entrepreneur, there's days where we make money. There's days when we make nothing. I've made $0 today and I don't know if I'm going to make any money today. Right. But you know, hopefully I know that, right. Hopefully I'll know I'll make some dollars in a couple of days or so, but just know you're not alone, but you know, don't get in your feelings find an accountability partner. Candace is mine. Um, I call her for everything. We cry together. We, we cheerlead together. We're, we root each other on, we help each other. You know, right now we're thinking of ways where we can come together online and pitch to businesses, pitch to brands and do a dope Chicago Cincinnati campaign. So if anybody watching, we are available, right? So, you know, during this time, we've had time and opportunity to do things outside the box that we may have never even thought of because we're just so busy operating in our businesses and traveling that we didn't even think of these things, right? So just brainstorm, take time for you, do nothing, do everything, do it is whatever it is you want to do. Like Candace said, you know, live in your purpose, do it for the right reasons because entrepreneurs, we don't do it for the money right? We do it because we love what we're doing. We leave with passion. We leave with purpose. So keep that in mind. Let me just make sure Christina Cookie Davis is in the building. We love your cookies. Christina, you need to hire us for a campaign. I think that'd be dope. 
her cookies are so <laughs> good, Candace. And she has um, keto ones and she has oh, um, vegan cookies. Cookie. Yes. So, Candace, we no, need to talk. We gotta get you, I mean, um, Christian, we need to talk because we can get your cookies in, in Chicago. Okay. We'll do a dope little cute little campaign. Right? Holla at us. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, please make sure that you follow Candace. Can you give us your um, social media handles, your website? Absolutely. I will. But there was a question in the chat that oh. I want you to answer because okay. they said, what's your uh, online webinar about? Oh, so that is uh, Wednesday. So next Wednesday. Any, anything you want to ask me, any business Q&A. Now, y'all know I charge for this. So this is just a coffee chat. Um, so all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, Morgan Angelique Owens. Um, leave me a comment on one of my pictures and then DM me for the link. And that's it. So it's our chat. Anything goes, ask me anything. So yeah. <laughs> Look it. There we go. All right. Um, so for me to stay connected with me, like I said, uh, make sure you grab a copy of that free um, Build, Grow, Monetize um, guide. And so it's literally a step-by-step -step guide to help you build, uh, grow, and monetize your brand. Um, and if you head to bit.ly bit uh, forward slash build, grow, monetize, you'll be able to get access to that. Um, and then, like I said, that's like a checklist of all the things you need to do. Um, the way to follow me online, uh, you can follow me at Candice Janae, and it's C-A-N-D-A-C-E-J-U-N-E-E -E -E on Instagram. And if you click the links um, there in my bio, you'll see not just my um, at the Ab Girl, you'll see my Fit with Candice page, which I share my, my weight loss journey and um, just... I, I try to do keto on and off. So here we are. <laughs> and I've successfully lost about 18 pounds since starting that. So I just share my journey. So yes, you know, trying to, to stay in that. Cardio ambassador. Candice is about to be a yes, cardio honey. ambassador and join us on our digital workouts, which is also um, powered by the Cincinnati Herald. So if y'all want to come on, we've had people lose one to four pounds a week. I mean, it's lit. Um, it's $25 for the whole month and you get replays. So thank you, Cincinnati Herald, for joining in this movement to get us moving because we need it. We need it during this pandemic. We can't we just sit on the couch. Girl, I need to keep my curves. Okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, I have been curvy and on the I need to be curvy cardio and okay. So. Yes, I love it. I love it. Well, thank you again, Candace, so much for joining us on Cincinnati Herald, The Influencers. Hopefully when we're back on the radio um, and we can travel, we can get you on the radio show as well, powered by the buzz so more people can learn about you. But please be sure you follow the Cincinnati Herald. Um, they mail everywhere. It's news you can't get anywhere else. It's for us. I love the Cincinnati Herald. Candace, you should absolutely submit a, a, a article about this, about digital pivot. I know Jan Michelle, the owner, she's also a soror. Hey, soror. Would okay. love it. She's all, they're always looking for great content, even print and online. I think that would be yeah. awesome. Um, she would love it. Um, so make sure that you guys, if you're not following the Cincinnati Herald, if you're looking at my page, you're looking at Candace's page, Please like, please subscribe, please support the paper. It is so affordable and it's so important that we support black owned newspapers, keep it alive because like yeah. I said, this is the news that you can't get anywhere else. You see us, yeah. you know, all the great things, positive things in the media that we're doing. And that's why I love the Cincinnati Herald so much um, because they're always willing to share positive stories about us and our businesses. So please support that. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, tune back at six. We have another episode of the influencers with our newest influencer, Ty. So give him some love, show him some love. Um, next week, of course, tune back in at 11 and six. And as always, you can find me on the Cincinnati Herald influencers page under the professional pretty blog so make sure that you go support go read it on the cincinnati herald go leave me a comment if you want to see anything you want to work with me please let me know on there as well all my information is on the cincinnati herald website and i think that's it for me guys so have a great saturday have a great memorial day weekend and we'll see you later bye stay safe